G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. Today I'm gonna to share with you one of my all time favorite desserts. It's crunchy and it tastes delish. So join me today as I make my version of honeycomb. Okay, so we're going to start off with a pot on the stove and I have this on a medium heat right now. So to that we're going to add in one and a half cups of sugar, then half a cup of honey. Feel free to use any type of honey that you like. Then one third cup of water and two tablespoons of golden syrup. Now if you can't find golden syrup, I'll leave a link down below on my recipe on how to make your own. So now over this medium heat, we're just going to just stir this for a bit, just until the sugar is nicely dissolved. Okay, so while stirring, you're gonna get these sugar crystals forming on the side of the pan. Just use a wet brush and just brush it down just like so. This will help prevent crystals from forming on the actual mixture itself. So just keep it nice and clean. Okay, so once the sugar is completely dissolved, I'm going to turn it up to a high heat now and bring it up to a boil. And we're gonna let it boil away for about five to seven minutes. And for this next step, I'm going to use a thermometer. Now this is a specialty candy thermometer. If you don't have one, they're extremely cheap to buy. Just search online and you'll have no problem finding them. So we wanna get this up to 150 degrees Celsius or about 300 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the hard crack stage. So we're just gonna let this boil away at this temperature. And it's very important that you do not stir it. Just let it go and do its thing until it gets to the right temperature. Okay, so now it's reached the desired temperature. Just take it straight off the heat. Okay, so we're just gonna let it sit here for a minute while the bubbles subside. Okay, so now the bubbles have gone down. There's only a few on the top, that's fine. Next, I have two teaspoons of bicarb soda. So we're just going to add that into the pot and stir it straight away. So you're gonna notice it's changing color and frothing up quite a bit. That's exactly how it should be. Okay, so we don't wanna over mix it because you're gonna knock out all the air. Okay, next I have a baking dish in. I've just given it a quick grease. So now we're just going to simply place our mixture into the dish. And as you can see, it's already got that golden color that you've come to expect from honeycomb. It really is amazing how this expands so fast too, when you add the bicarb soda, but it works so, so well. Okay, so once it's in the baking dish, we're just simply going to leave it sit here for a few hours, just to cool down and harden. Okay, so it's completely cooled down. I've just broken it up into smaller pieces. Now the thing with honeycomb is, it's actually very hard to cut. It doesn't cut, it shatters. But it still works out and it still tastes fantastic. Okay, so you can easily eat it as is and it's going to taste fantastic. Or you can melt up some chocolate and just add some to each one. And there we have it, our homemade honeycomb. So how incredibly simple and easy was that? And I guarantee it's also gonna be far, far cheaper than what you pay for the commercial stuff in the shops. But does it taste like the commercial stuff? Well, homemade always tastes better, but you know, let's see. Oh, that just tastes fantastic. It tastes exactly like honeycomb. And you know why? Because it is honeycomb. So it's a very simple treat to make, very tasty treat to make. And whether you have chocolate on it or just by itself, it's still going to taste simply delish. So for your next party or for the kids, give it a go because everyone will love it. So thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. As always, I'll leave a list of ingredients down below as well as links to my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Home Handy Hints channel. And please do me a massive favor by giving this video a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe.